Hello, in this video I will show you the genetic results, so the predicted appearance, predicted traits, uh, illnesses, and of course GD match of four ancient individuals from Japan. They are all Jamon hunter-gatherers. Uh, excuse my pronunciation, I am not Japanese whatsoever. And also I don't know much about East Asian uh, history, so if I say something stupid, correct me in the comments. But anyway, here is the phenotype prediction of the first Jamon hunter-gatherer woman. She's predicted to have uh, dark brown eyes at 55.9%, which is actually kind of low. Like, if you run East Asian or African uh, files from my Nashakoto, you will mostly get 99.9% .9 dark brown eyes for the most part. So, scoring only 55.9% dark brown eyes is actually very light for an East Asian person. And she had also predicted to have snub nose and black hair. And she did not have EDAR, which is why I depicted her so uh, caucasoid looking, because no EDAR in this file, no East Asian uh, ectodysplastin receptor gene, uh, no mongoloid features. So as you can see here on code gen, no EDAR. Uh, she has got the sociopath gene, which is not surprising, it's a very typical genotype for East Asians. Her genotype in DRD2 is also very typical for East Asians, basically she is not a no-go learner, and she has more dopamine D2 receptors. Uh, she was heterozygous for the warrior gene, which is not so not so um, common for Asians. Asians tend to be warriors, as in uh, GG, in this SNP, but she is heterozygous. She had a modestly high genetic risk score for Crohn's disease, a very, very high risk score for Parkinson's. In fact, she might have actually had the illness, unfortunately. Uh, she had an average risk score for schizophrenia. Uh, she had an average, maybe a little bit above average risk score for bipolar and a very low risk score for type 2 diabetes. Uh, this is what she scores with Eurogenes K36. As you can see, the biggest category here is East Asian followed by South Asian and Oceanian. Uh, here is her result with Eurogenes K13. Notice the little bit of North Atlantic and West Mediterranean that she scores. Uh, this is a pattern you will see with every one of these samples. They all score a little bit of North Atlantic or West Mediterranean. According to the oracle for this calculator, she's basically like a mixture of Japanese and South Indian or Austroasiatic. And this is her result with MDLP K23B. Notice how much South Indian she is scoring, uh, as well as how much Austronesian she is scoring. Uh, with the oracle, she's closest to Ryu Kyuan. I don't know what that is. Uh, you can enlighten me in the comments and Japanese people. And uh, there are G25 coordinates available for this sample, so this is what this sample scores on G25 in terms of uh, what populations it's closest to. Uh, it's closest to Agta and, of course, Japanese. Now let's move on to the second sample. The second sample is male, uh, and he's also a Jomon. He has a very weird Y-DNA, D1A2. I don't even know what branch that comes from. Uh, once again, you can enlighten me in the comments. And this is what he scores with my Nashakotu. He scores dark brown eyes, snub nose, and black hair, just as the previous lady. Uh, but uh, him I depicted with straight hair, because that was his prediction with hair ID. And also, he was not genotyped for the main variation in EDAR that my Nashakot looks for. Uh, but he had CC at this other SNP in EDAR, which is an incredibly rare genotype for East Asians, so he probably also did not have derived EDAR, probably did not have mongoloid facial features either. In OXTR, he had a very interesting genotype, because this, these two are in the same gene, and usually I was under the impression that they go together, but in his case, he got one variation that's straight-up homozygous for lack of empathy, and one variation that's straight-up homozygous for higher levels of empathy. So, uh, I'm not sure what his actual phenotype was, how much empathy he had, probably a little bit more than the average uh, East Asian. And by the way, yes, your eyes are not deceiving you, he had a red hair mutation in MC1R gene. Uh, which I was not expecting whatsoever. His genotype in DRD2 was pretty typical for East Asians. There is nothing out of the ordinary here. He was not a no-go learner, and he had more dopamine D2 receptors relative to Europeans. According to his genotype in Compt, he was a warrior with the IE, which is just shocking when you consider the distributions of the alleles in modern populations. Like, this is a very shocking genotype for an East Asian. This is a very typical genotype for a European, but for an East Asian, this is just super rare. He had an average genetic risk for coronary heart disease. He had a below average genetic risk for schizophrenia. Uh, he had a below average, close to average risk for bipolar. And he had a very, very low risk for Crohn's disease. Definitely did not have this illness. And here's his result with Eurogenes K36. Now you see the largest category here is East Asian. 
and the second largest category at 20% is South Asian. And here's his result with Eurogenes K13. As you can see, he's scoring 3.5% West Mediterranean. Uh, as I've said before, every single sample that I'll show you in this video is scoring a little bit of West Mediterranean or North Atlantic or both. And here's his Oracle results. The Oracle is modeling him as a mixture of Japanese and some South Indian groups. And here's his results with Gedrosia K3. So as you can see, he was not a totally East Eurasian person, not a total East Asian. He had a little bit of West Eurasian um, Caucasoid admixture too. Here is his result with uh, Gidrosia's Ancient Eurasia K6. What's interesting, he's scoring every single category besides West European hunter-gatherer. Uh, he's even got a little bit of Natufian somehow. Here is his result with MDL PK23B. Notice the huge amount of South Indian and Austronesian that he scores. And with the Oracle for this calculator, he's closest to Ryu Q1 once again, just as the previous sample, and followed by Japanese and Mongols. I also found G25 coordinates for him, and G25 coordinates for him make him closest to, um, same as the previous sample, it's basically the same people, Eita, Agta, and Japanese. Now let's move on to the DNA results for the third person, which is also a Jemon hunter-gatherer, also from Japan, uh, but this one, unlike the previous uh, person, is a woman. Uh, here is what she scores with my Nashakotu, also dark brown eyes, also snub nose, also bra black hair, uh, and you are looking at the picture, you are thinking, why is, she, why is she looking so um, white? Well, that's because she did not have derived EDAR, she did not have the East Asian EDAR, so she did not have East Asian facial features. She had a very interesting genotype in DRD2. This is actually a genotype that I also have. And for us Russians, it's incredibly rare. It's like zero point something percent. It's incredibly rare for us Russians, but for East Asians, it's more common. And... Uh, not her, not only her, but another sample too, which is going to be the fourth sample. The fourth sample also had this genotype. Uh, here I'm just showing you that she did not have EDAR, which you can check in the file, which is going to be in the link in the description. All the files are going to be in the description, in the links. Uh, she had this variation and she was not genotyped for the other more important variation. So I guess just judging from this one, uh, she probably had the sociopath gene. And the shocking news don't end there, because she was also a warrior with the IE, which is once again extremely atypical for East Asians and very typical for Europeans. Um, the implications of this genotype is that uh, she had a slower reuptake of dopamine, which means more dopamine in the system, which means advantage in memory and attention tasks. She had a high genetic risk for Crohn's disease. Um, she had a very high genetic risk for Parkinson's. In fact, she probably had Parkinson's. She had an average risk for schizophrenia. Uh, she had a average genetic risk for bipolar disorder. And she had a very low genetic risk for type 2 diabetes. Well, not very low, but just slightly low genetic risk for type 2 diabetes. This is what she scores with Eurogenes K36. And on top of the East Asian, South Asian, and Oceania, and the other sample score, she also gets a little bit of Iberian. Here is her result with Eurogenes K13, and here she scores 2.5% of West Mediterranean. So she had, uh, this person had some affinities to um, Mediterraneans and basically West, West Europeans. The Oracle is modeling her as a mixture of East Asian like Xebo with either Austroasiatic or a mixture of Japanese and like South Indian. And here's her result with MZLPK23B. Now notice the huge amount of uh, South Indian and Austronesian that she's scoring, 20% South Indian and 20% Austronesian. According to the Oracle for this calculator, she's closest to Ryu Kian once again. This is the group that's closest to everybody here, but followed by that it's Mongolians and Japanese. And there are G25 coordinates available for this sample, and according to these G25 coordinates, this sample was closest to modern people, uh, such as Aita, Akta, and Japanese, just as every other sample that I've shown in this video. Uh, now move on to the final sample that I show in this video, that consists of four samples, so this is the fourth of the four samples. Um, he is a male, and he also has this uh, crazy Y-DNA that's D1A2, I don't even know what branch that is from. With my Nashakotu, he's predicted to have a snub nose, dark brown eyes, and black hair, just as every other sample featured in this video. And with my hair ID tool, he's predicted to have uh, wavy hair at 46% likelihood. Uh, now, once again, I derived, I depicted him as looking very white or Caucasoid. That's because he did not have derived EDAR. Uh, you might have, if you paid attention, you might have noticed none of the samples covered in this video had derived EDAR. 
His genotype in DRD2 is once again very similar to the woman I showed previously, and this is actually uh, the genotype that I have, uh, precisely the same genotype that I have, which is very atypical for Europeans. It's kind of atypical for Asians, but it's, it's most typical for Asians out of all other ethnicities. Uh, he was a warrior with the IO at the end, which is uh, val val, which means uh, quicker reuptake of dopamine, which is, means less dopamine in the system, uh, which means um, advantages in like stress resilience. And he did not have the sociopath gene. He had a above average risk for Crohn's disease. He also had a slightly above average risk for schizophrenia. Um, he also had a very high risk for bipolar. He might have had bipolar. Uh, he had a slightly above average risk for a Parkinson's and he had a slightly above average risk for coronary heart disease. This is what he scores with Eurogene's K36. Here he's also scoring Iberian and on top of that he's also scoring uh, East African which is very exotic and I'm not sure uh, how that admixture made its way into uh, Bronze Age Japan. And this is his result with Eurogene's K13. Now as you can see he also has this Western European genetic drift where he scores 0.8% uh, North Atlantic and 3.8% West Med. Here is his mixed mode oracle. It's modeling him as a mixture of, I think two is like Siberian or something. Uh, so it's either two plus Austroasiatic or Japanese plus South Indian. And this is what he scores with MDLP K23B. As you can see, he's also scoring 18.5% South Indian and 20% Austronesian here, which is crazy. It's like, if you add them up, that's 40% non-East Asian ancestry. And according to the Oracle, he's closest once again to Ryu, Kian, Japanese and Mongols. Uh, all of them at very, very high distances. Uh, this is what he scores with Gedrosia K3. As you can see, he was not a totally East Eurasian person. He still had that 11% uh, West Eurasian ancestry. And here's what he scores with Gedrosia's Ancient Eurasia K6. Now, what's absolutely crazy to me is that he's scoring 5.5% Natufian. And it might be crazy to you if you don't know anything about uh, these um, people. But I will show you something later in this video that's going to make you understand why he's scoring that Natufian. And I also found publicly available G25 coordinates for this sample with which he is closest to Akta, Eita in Japanese as are every other uh, sample that I've covered in this video. Now here's all these samples modeled on G25 with Davidsky's standard calculator. And what's crazy to me is that they're all scoring Iran, Shahar, Isakta, which is Indus Valley. Uh, and by the way, Indus Valley is not some East Eurasian or like South Asian component, it's got a little bit of Natufian ancestry. It's got a little bit of Natufian-like ancestry. So this is why they're scoring Natufian on Ancient Eurasia K6 calculator. Thank you guys for watching until the end. You can download all four of these samples from the link which is going to be in the description and leave a like and subscribe if you enjoyed the video.